Have you ever been interested in what lies beneath the seas? Perhaps learning about what used to and still lurks underneath the water? Understanding all about extinct and current species of fish? Maybe you'd like to become an ichthyologist. For those of you who aren't familiar with the word, don't worry, you're not the only one. Ichthyology is a particular field of zoology that studies extinct and living species of fish. Bony fish, such as the sharp-toothed piranha, cartilaginous fish, like the hammerhead and great white shark, and even the terrifying leech-like jawless fish, the lamprey. This was an area of interest for the Swiss-American naturalist, geologist and teacher Jean-Louis Rodolphe Agassiz. Born May 28, 1807 in Mortier, Switzerland, Louis grew to be a man interested in glaciation, which is the movements of giant glaciers. He then began diverting his attention to living and fossilised species of fish such as the Cocosteus, which is an ancient fish that had a form of armour plating on its skin. During early 1828, Louis was approached by a man named Professor Carl von Martius, who had recently explored the Amazon River throughout 1817 to 1820, and asked him to help with the completion of classifying a list of over 90 species of freshwater fish. Due to the unfortunate death of Martius' exploring partner, Professor Julius Spix, Martius was urged to find a competent ichthyologist to assist in his work. So what was Louis Agassiz able to accomplish during his time researching fossilised fish? He was not known for any major discoveries or inventions such as the likes of Nikola Tesla or perhaps Alexander Bell, inventor of the telephone. However, his incredible knowledge of fossils allowed him to help discover and classify thousands of new fish. He even created four new categories of bony fish. These new groups were called placoids, tenoids, cycloids and ganoids. He was able to distinguish these new groupings by their teeth and scale variations. Louis was so invested in his work, he would often go down to the local fish market and take samples of fish caught by fishermen. During one sample, he managed to discover a new species of carp, which was mentioned in his first book dedicated to his study, Brazilian Fishes. He loved his research in fossil fish so much that he would often have vivid dreams of fish, and as it was written in his journal, he once had the same recurring dream for two nights in a row. On the third night, he slept with pen and paper, and as soon as he woke up, he sketched nearly a perfect impression of an excavated fossil found the very next day. This fish was a Cycloparma spinosum. I hope you've learned something today about the incredible Louis Agassiz and his amazing accomplishments and will be interested in discovering more about his life. His knowledge and devotion to ichthyology has given the scientific world today a better understanding of our watery friends and how they are all different and amazing in their own unique way.